Hi folks, this is Jeremy King Tech and I'm Jeremy. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about these. These just came in the mail. Um, these are controller replacements, 8 o controllers in the style of a Super Nintendo controller and uh, I'm really excited to open this up and I want to take you along for the ride. And I'm going to be talking about why I'm going to be using these controllers to replace my old Wii U Pro Controller. I'm gonna stop blocking my face and casting shadows. But I've been using this controller for uh, the past four years or so, and all my emulation that you've seen on the channel has been done with this controller. And it's a great controller, and there are reasons I love it. And uh, those exact same reason, the are why I've bought two of these. So uh, let's jump over to my desk and I'll open it up and we'll talk about it. All right, so here we are at my very messy desk. <laughs> I just have things all over the place. That's just how it's always uh, set up. But we have our two new controllers right here by 8-Bit Doe. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera so you can see it. Uh, and of course it's in the style of a Super Nintendo controller, which I absolutely love because I spend a lot of time playing retro games, especially uh, different platforming games. So a control layout like this is spectacular. Now I'm just going to grab my Wii U Pro controller. It's all grimy and oily looking from uh, use, uh, use over the years. I need to clean it. It's pretty nasty. Uh, that being said, what I absolutely love about this controller is that it has the typical Super Nintendo layout. It's great. So by that, what I mean of course is that you have the D-pad and it's a standard issue, a, a nice proper D-pad. Uh, and a lot of controllers, especially Nintendo controllers, seem to fail on the d-pad like when the nintendo switch pro controllers came out that was that was a big qualm that people had with the controller the d-pad just didn't feel right and it didn't operate properly so the d-pad is key and of course right over here we have our face buttons now what's important about the fact uh, that the face buttons are over here. Well, again, it mimics the Super Nintendo controller layout in that they mirror the D-pad, okay? So on a typical Xbox controller, for example, you have your analog sticks uh, in that strange rotated, your right analog stick are where the face buttons usually are, which is okay if you're doing a first person shooter um, but I don't do a lot of that uh, and when I'm doing it, I'm doing it on a keyboard and mouse and not on a controller. So uh, for platforming, you want a good like Super Nintendo-esque controller and that's where 8BitDo comes in with these SN30 Pro Plus controllers. So I bought two of them, one for myself and one for my partner so we can play games together. Uh, shout out to our uh, extra life streams. If you're not following me over on Twitch, please do so. Twitch.tv slash Jeremy King Tech. I stream regularly uh, with with my controller. <laughs> uh, I stream with my controller, folks, when I'm doing platforming games. And what I do over on my Twitch channel is I raise money for my local children's hospital. 100% of my funds goes towards my local children's hospital. So please go join me over on the Twitch channel. I'll shut up about that and we'll talk more about the controller. All right, so let's actually open one of these nifty controllers up and see what the unbox experience is like. Uh, of course, these are Bluetooth controllers. Uh, they're compatible, as you can see here, with numerous platforms, which is amazing. Uh, the Switch, Mac OS, Windows, Steam, Android, and the Raspberry Pi. This, of course, is the Super Nintendo Edition. They have different versions of them, which are really cool. Um, you can buy a Game Boy inspired aesthetic 
has the red buttons and the gray is a little bit darker to match that of the gray on the uh, Game Boy, of course. <laughs> They have a blackout version, which I thought was really nice and would have replaced this black Wii U Pro Controller very nicely, but I was feeling really nostalgic. And I don't know if you noticed, but over on my desk here is my Super Nintendo. Uh, what I would like to do and what 8-Bit Doe offers uh, is... They make these receivers for their controllers that are super cool and you can just plug them right into your Super Nintendo controller port and play with a modern wireless controller uh, without the cables and because that's super cool. We're living in the 21st century. Let's go wireless and still have the OG uh, experience on OG hardware, right? All right, so I'm waffling on as I tend to do. Let's open this up. Oh, that's really cute. I'm going to pull this up to the camera so you can see it. A little pixel heart, because why not? You can tell that a lot of love goes into their controllers if you go to their website. I'm going to have a link uh, down in the description below to their website, as well as to my Amazon page. If you feel like picking one of these controllers up, you can do so. Through those links let's put that there and that there so you can see it the box is just a plain Jane grain <laughs> plain Jane grain gray box it's a gray box folks let's open it up nothing special about the box inside we have a little card here uh, it declares that this product is in compliance with uh, essential requirements and uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't care about that. 8-Bit Doe, Ultimate Software. It's too close. There we go. We have a card. That's super cool. But this is all I care about is this controller. So it's protected in plastic, of course, which is great. That lifts off. And... Oh... Let's zoom the camera in so you can really see what's going on here. And right off the bat, uh, I'm it, it's all about the D-pad. <laughs> Folks, it's all about rocking that D-pad. And this D-pad feels so good. It feels so good. It's a little bit, uh, it looks a little bit bigger than the D-pad on my Wii U Pro Controller. It's a little bit stiffer because it's brand new, uh, but it has more grip because it's mimicking the Super Nintendo controller. It has those indents. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The Super Nintendo controller has these little indents on them, uh, and it's super grippy. So I'm looking forward to playing a game like Celeste with this controller. I'm really excited to play Celeste with this controller. The analog sticks. They're nice and clicky. You can probably hear that through the mic. I really like that. Uh, they are comparable to the Wii U Pro Controller. You know what? The SN30 Pro sticks also feel a little bit more grippy too because the indent of the rim here goes down further. So that's really nice. Uh, the classic select and start buttons are made of rubber just like on the OG Super Nintendo control uh, con controller well kicking the mic on the top we have dual analog sticks which are really nice there are a bunch of different settings for these in the software which we can get into I might actually do a separate video discussing the setup process uh, just how I like to have it set up for emulators and stuff once we get to that point I like to share things like that in all my guide videos uh, so if you're interested in emulator guides and things like that also please check out my channel uh, for additional information there's a sync button on the top which is super cool USB type C charging which is great too. I'm not sure if these controllers support 
uh, playing through the USB cable, but I think they actually do. Super multi-purpose. On the back here is the battery. And I'm pretty sure these are removable battery packs. So how cool is that? Your battery pack starts dying, well, just replace it. Uh, this also comes out, I do believe. And you can just put AA batteries inside of this controller. So this is the ultimate in adaptability. It's Bluetooth, so you can also sync it to your phone. Uh, they do have cell phone clips as well for these controllers, uh, which is great. I have a, I'm gonna pull it out here. That's my, with Luke Skywalker on it, my Pixel 3a from Google over here on the other camera. You can see it. I would like to get a clip. So the clip would hold onto the controller just like that. And then you could play different emulators using your controller. Tell me that is not sweet. That is so cool. I'm excited to noodle around with something like that. It's great for when you're traveling and, um, you know, for people who maybe don't have a, a lot of space in their bag, you can just throw your phone in and a controller. It's all good. You're good to go. I really enjoy the grips on here. I actually think I enjoy the grips on the SN30 Pro more than I do on the Wii U Pro controller. It actually feels more like a PlayStation controller type of grip in my hand, which I really appreciate coming from, uh, you know, playing PlayStation. Let's peel this off. Oh, there we go. These of course are the face buttons and uh, the really cool thing about the face buttons on the SN30 Pro is that this is that they are modeled after the American version of the Super Nintendo, meaning that you have convex and concave buttons. So let's play around with those. So as a kid, I was used to playing on the regular North American Super Nintendo controller, but also on this interesting third party uh, controller and I'm not sure who made this thing it's kind of some kind of knockoff it's called a super pad as you can see there but it has the big chiclet uh, if you're in Canada we call them the candies smarties they look like they're chocolate covered uh, candies they look like cool colored smarties but um, they're in the style of the European controller, the Super Famicom, of course. And I'm used to playing on this, which is really strange D-pad. I don't know how I played on this as a kid. Super like rocky. It's kind of like the original uh, Xbox controller in a way, or the uh, the Sega controllers were like that too, and how they're kind of chunky rollers. And what we're gonna do here is show you side by side how 8-Bit Doe has replicated the layout, the button layout and controller layout. So this is the regular North American Super Nintendo controller on the top and on the bottom of course is the SN30 Pro Plus by 8 Doe. The layout is exact. It's exactly the same. Uh, right down to the color of these buttons up here. It's beautiful. I don't know why they didn't do the dark dark purple down on the bottom, but uh, yeah, I think that this controller looks beautiful. Feeling the D-pad of the original versus the SN30 Pro. The D-pad on the new controller, uh, again, is a little bit grippier, which I actually really appreciate. What's the rule for rolling up your controllers like this? I've done it my whole life. I haven't had any issue with my controllers not working yet, so I hope that that never ends up being the case. 
Uh, anyways, we'll put those off to the side. And uh, yeah, so this isn't really a review of this controller. It's more of an overview of the controller as I just got it. So I wanted to open it up and share it with all of you and uh, just talk about a few of the features. But yeah, I'm really stoked to have these now. Uh, I'm gonna start playing some games and doing some live streams on Twitch using these controllers. If by chance you're interested in a setup guide for these controllers, let me know down in the comments below too. Um, I would love to make something like that. If that's something you would like to see, if you get uh, use and benefit out of it, by all means, let me know. I'll make it for you. Um, the software, I think, is probably pretty straightforward from what I've seen on it. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. A short and sweet video all about my new controllers. I'm Jeremy King. This is Jeremy King Tech. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it that you watched the video. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video.